What does it mean to be a Muslim? A true Muslim is only one who has believed with his heart and proved his faith by deeds, and who has sincerely obeyed all the commands of Allah Almighty and his Messenger. A Muslim is a person who has declared his faith in the oneness of Allah and in the prophetic mission of his Messenger. Hassan and Layla are brother and sister. They have often heard adults talking about Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, and Islam. Yes, my smarty pants. Our little friends, like you of course, have often heard adults proudly emphasize that we are Muslims. This has always made the children curious. So one day Hassan and Layla decided to go to Daddy and ask him to explain to them the meaning of the incomprehensible but so beautiful words. Dad was sitting in the hall reading the newspaper. Assalamu alaikum, Papa, Hassan and Layla said hello one by one. Wa alaikum as salam, little children. Daddy replied. Please explain to us what it means to be a Muslim, asked Hassan. Dad put the newspaper aside and said. Sit back, my clever girls, and I will try to explain it to you as clearly as I can. To be a Muslim means to love God, to obey all his commands, which are written in our holy Quran, and to listen to the advice that the last prophet of God, Muhammad, gave to the people. And what is Islam, daddy? Little Layla asked an unexpected question. It is the name of the religion of the Muslims. It means that a Muslim is a follower of Islam, daddy began to explain. You could also say that Muslims are those who adhere to five important rules that God has set for people. First, a Muslim believes only in Allah. Second, he prays five times a day. Third, they fast during the month of Ramadan. Fourthly, once a year he makes a donation for the poor, which is called zakat. Fifthly, at least once in his life he makes a hajj, a pilgrimage to Mecca, for the sake of Allah. A Muslim has so much to do, sighed Layla. Yes, he does, her father confirmed. But you can gradually learn how to do it. And you know what? Make time for it little by little every day. And start learning these rules one at a time. In time, my little ones, you will be able to perform all five duties as well as all model Muslims. You will be able to recite the Shada correctly, you will be able to pray five times a day, and you will be able to fast correctly during the month of Ramadan. You will definitely learn, my clever girls, how to give zakat correctly. And at least once in your life you will make a pilgrimage to Mecca, if it is the will of Allah. Shada is the basic condition for accepting Islam. It consists in recognizing the oneness of Allah as well as the prophecy of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Ashadu Allah ilaha illa Allahu wa ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasul Allahi. It's still not very clear to me, Hassan stretched out. What exactly is Shada? Dad smiled in response and told Hassan. Don't worry. There are many things in life you don't understand yet. But soon you will learn about them. And Layla too, Dad added with a laugh stroking the fidgety Layla on the head, who even froze on the spot with curiosity. Today we will start with the Shada. So, said the father, repeat after me, Shadu al la 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 il la el la la. Hassan repeated after his father. Shadu al la la ila il la. I've memorized it too, hurried Layla, Shadu al la il ha il la la. Right. Dad rejoiced, but you still need to know what it means. And it translates into our language like this, I testify that there is no God but Allah. So, my attentive little ones, the Shada are the words that you have just memorized and said out loud. We Muslims know that Allah is God and that there are no other gods besides Him. He is the one who created us and the whole world. Almighty Allah also created absolutely everything in it. All of this is what we mean when we say the Arabic words, Layla ha la. Arabic is the language of the Quran and the language of the Prophet Muhammad. And in Russian the words Shada briefly mean, there is no God but Allah. It's very simple, Hassan exclaimed. Of course it is, 
His daddy confirmed. However, we haven't finished yet. We have only learned the first part of the Shada. What does the second part sound like? Layla asked. Layla and Hassan's father pronounced it very slowly, in syllables. Wa shadu an na muha m madan rasulu el la. In our language it would sound like this. And I testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Papa, please repeat both parts of the Shada together, Layla asked. Yes, of course, said her father excitedly. Ashadu al la la al la 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 la. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad in rasulu el la. Layla hurried to say these words before Hassan did. But to her great regret, she stumbled on the first word and could not continue. Ash. 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 The little girl tried to remember. Ashaju, Hassan willingly suggested. And Layla went on. Ashaju Allah illa illa el la. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad in Rasulu el la. That's right, Papa smiled. Now it's your turn, Hassan. And Hassan said the Shada without a single mistake. Now, let's try to memorize what this phrase means in Russian. All right, kids. The words of the Shada mean, I testify that there is no God but Allah, and I testify that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah.